Hi guys, thank you for joining me today and welcome. So today in this video, I've decided to create two projects, not overdone, not doing too much. I decided to have these projects maintain its clean line, its cleanness about it. But I am going to use that square vase that you see. I'm going to be using this round vase. This is from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this candlestick holder and I picked that up from my thrift store. The dish here is an ice cream dish and I picked this up from the thrift store it was a set of six and I plan to use them for projects but I love this guys I love the little design in, in it it's an ice cream dish or candy dish so this is the bling I'm going to be using today it sort of has like these little diamond cuts in it diamond shape it's really beautiful it's very reflective and it has a lot of little tiny diamonds so give it a nice sparkle effect Right here are two glass doorknobs. These are faceted, as you can see, and these are absolutely beautiful. Also going to be using some mirrors. Now, this mirror here is from the Dollar Tree, the bevel edge square mirror. I think it's about four inches square. And the other mirror there is about uh, five or six inch square. I'm not sure about the size. The next two mirrors are small mirrors. I picked the smallest one up from... I think it was from Amazon. That's a bevel edged mirror. And this mirror here is not real glass mirror. It's a faux mirror, it's acrylic. And the reflection on it, guys, is really, really good. It looks like a real mirror. This is plastic. Yeah, so I didn't have a small mirror the size to fit the round vase. So I'm gonna be using this today. And all my mirrors are recycled. So I'm gonna start by cleaning off everything very, very quickly with a little bit of alcohol and a paper towel. So I'm going to start with the square vase first and I'm going to use this self-adhesive bling. I'm going to peel off the back and just apply it to the top edge of the vase. So that's really nice guys and look how clean and simple that looks. So I'm going to do the same thing to the ice cream dish or the candy dish. I'm just going to apply the adhesive bling to the edge. So this came out really nice guys. So right now I'm going to use my Aileen's Mixed Media Adhesive. I'm going to adhere the two pieces together and then I'm going to let it dry overnight. So while that dries I'm going to do the same thing to the Dollar Tree vase and I'm also going to decorate that tapered candlestick holder. So I'm going to let that dry overnight. So now I'm going to create a beautiful mirrored lid for both faces. I'm going to use a little bit of my 
permanent adhesive. I'm going to adhere the smaller mirror to the larger mirror. So I just wanted you to see how beautifully faceted this door pull is. This is absolutely beautiful and it will make a great addition to the mirror. After I'm done with that guys, I'm gonna let everything just set and adhere, give it some good dry time. Overnight is really good. And then we're gonna pick it up tomorrow and I'm gonna add one more fine little touch to it and the project is gonna be finished. So now that everything is completely dry, I'm going to use these little felt pads. These felt pads I picked up from the Dollar Tree and they come in brown and they come in white, but I just put all of mine together in one package. So I got these from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add these to the bottom of the round mirror. This is going to protect the mirror top from sliding off the vase. Now that that's done guys, I'm going to add one more little bit of embellishment. I'm going to be using these rhinestone buttons and I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to attach them. I'm going to do the same thing to the round vase. And then I'm going to add the tops just to show you how they look. And then I'm going to show you the final project. Guys, I absolutely love the way both of the projects came out. Absolutely beautiful, nice and clean, and the mirrored tops make the whole project look absolutely gorgeous. So guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I'm gonna thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And you all stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.